Hello all, in this section I will going to explain how to configure HF proxy installation for uh, Postgres database servers. In my last video, uh, I explained how to configure master and standby uh, database replication using streaming. So in this video, continuation, how to configure the load balancer. See, load balancer is required for uh, balancing the load and uh, distribute the load. Uh, whenever the query requests are coming from the client, we need to give the request first. So that is the reason HA proxy setup is needed. Uh, so I am choosing three nodes. One is master, one is standby, one is HA proxy node. Master node IP address is 10.20.70.1 and uh, standby node uh, IP address is 10.20.70.2. Uh, so uh, here uh, master node is read and write mode and standby uh, server is read only mode. Uh, here HA proxy setups I am going to configure on uh, IP address uh, 10.20.70.0 uh, so here i am going to configure ha proxy and uh, we tested uh, uh, os version uh, rhl and sent os 7 or above ubuntu 18 or above tbn 9 or above uh, so these uh, three uh, uh, linux uh, support we are uh, providing and we are tested also and postgres version we, uh, we tested 11 or above so now i will going to explain how to configure the protection setup and this is the way we are configured in our protection setup uh, if you are using uh, debian or ubuntu you use uh, uh, apt install uh, ha proxy if you are using centos rhl or uh, amazon os or whatever it is so you can use m install uh, uh, command and uh, now by default i used to choose uh, source installation using uh, tarball so it will be going to uh, compile and it, uh, it will be run it on any uh, linux platform so let's uh, go for the ha proxy installation so first i am going to do uh, uh, the dependency yes uh, these are the dependency we need to uh, install it before going to install a ha proxy if uh, if you are using the ubuntu so apt install and you do the remaining gcc and bc develop and tar take and these are the commands are required once uh, this gcc card successfully installed uh, so you can able to check the version what is the version of this uh, gcc is installed so this command is executed fine now we are uh, ready to move to the uh, download uh, ha proxy so right now my uh, I, my location is slash opt location uh, so here i am going to download the ha proxy uh, software so using the wget command uh, you go to this link and you can get the download once the uh, software got downloaded you get this particular file in your uh, slash opt folder location uh, next step is uh, you need to uh, extract it using the tar uh, minus uh, zxbf that uh, using that you can extract the uh, files uh, once is the extraction is completed successfully you got uh, ha proxy uh, 2.0.7 folder now you move to this uh, use the change directory command go to that uh, ha proxy uh, extracted folder here you need to do uh, compilation uh, because we are using the tarball so we need to compile it so make a target you need to give uh, uh, make target equal to linux clipc uh, glibc and make install you do once this is uh, successfully done uh, then uh, ha proxy is almost ready and setting up a ha proxy for your server so you have to make some two folder make directory using the make directory you create a ha proxy folder uh, under etc and where under also so next up is you need to create one uh, stats so this is also is required ha proxy stats so uh, that also you need to create under where uh, next thing is you need to create the symbolic link uh, that symbolic link will be going to whenever you want to run the ha proxy so this uh, uh, binary is required so you need to uh, create the low one uh, symbolic link once is this, the once the above link is created and copy that all the examples of whatever is present under the ha proxy folder and those uh, files you move into slash etc init d and uh, slash ha proxy uh, this path you need to give say so this is will helpful for the uh, service will run as a system command like uh, system control start system control status so that reason so you need to do this uh, uh, steps once this is done you create uh, you change the uh, permission for that particular file so once this is done uh, it's a, like executable mode and you have to make it 
then this is uh, uh, HA proxy this particular uh, uh, service uh, is linked to the system now you start the system control demand reload you do once this is done and check config HA proxy on so if you are enable this HA proxy on then it will automatically start whenever your uh, system is uh, restarted it, this also will start otherwise we need to do manually and the better recommended approach is you have to create uh, one uh, HA proxy user by using this command once these all the activities are done then you can check the HA proxy version uh, it will use to it, it uh, tell uh, 2.0.7 so next step is we need to configure the load balancer now we know uh, we know uh, we uh, we have to configure uh, load balancer for postgres till now installation is completed now we are doing the configuration so go to this uh, uh, newly created uh, file actually we are created one uh, directory so that directory you you, uh, you change your location uh, using the cd command and you have to ls command you give there is uh, no files are available here and you create one ha proxy configuration file so once this file is uh, uh, created you change the permission uh, once this is done you need to restart the ha proxy for if any uh, errors are there for for that reason so till now you you won't get any error here it will uh, restart automatically now you move to the uh, actual configuration so, so the first example i will going to tell how to you know share the load uh, using the read request so this will only work for read request how to share and uh, next one i will uh, tell how uh, read and write request uh, how to share the load first example is read request alone uh, i am giving the example and uh, this is and go to this uh, ha proxy location uh, slash etc and ha proxy and recently one file we got created that is ha proxy dot cfg so in this uh, particular file you need to add the below lines so once you added this lines you save it so here global and maximum connection how much uh, request is required at a time so 100 so maximum connection and default and timeout duration of client server and how uh, timeout will happen connection and check so these all the pre uh, these are the uh, commands and the configuration is required for postgres i am uh, connecting from front end front end i just you give any name I am giving a uh, friend and underscore postgres so ft is the uh, uh, alias i given so pint address is 5432 and default backend is uh, i given some name and that is the backend underscore postgres so so pk uh, underscore postgres so same thing you have to use it for uh, in the backend configuration time same name uh, you have to give the correct name and it should be same and balancing i am giving least connection so here the load balancing algorithm we are using so there are multiple algorithms are there round robin least connection and uh, there are multiple uh, things then i am going to connect the least connection which is having the least connection so that uh, uh, load will go to the that particular server suppose master no, db is uh, having uh, more load then uh, uh, the request will go to the standby server so here we need to give your uh, uh, server detail like server master db and 10 point uh, this ip address of master ip and what's the port number is running in your postgres db so this once this is uh, this configuration is completed uh, save the file and then uh, you restart the ha proxy once you restarted you will not get any error if you get any error you try to fix it yeah, maybe a problem in your uh, syntax or maybe the name or something so you you need to correct those things once uh, you corrected successfully then uh, you uh, you check the system control status HA proxy, whether it is running or not it will show it is active or something so this is uh, active status then you can move into the next step whether that uh, particular port forwarding we are doing here 5432 to the ha proxy server so that port is opened or not so by using netstat command you can check it whether port is open uh, for to connect from the remote uh, remote location that's the need we need to give and yes this is the way we need to configure for read only mode here write request won't be take from this ha proxy because complete configuration is only for read request balancing next i am going to that uh, read and write request how to share the load 
this is the production setup we have to use production setup this is the configure recommended configuration same thing like uh, maximum connection uh, you can give 100 and remaining uh, default setup is same as it is in the read also we are following the same thing and even uh, read and write both mode so here the front end i am keeping the name is pgsql here the uh, checkup i mean the condition check i am doing if uh, the uh, request is read only so the by default it will go into the read only bgsql so read only bgsql i configured here and which uh, uh, here we need to specify which server is read only so by default in our case is standby server is read only so you give always all read request will go to this particular uh, standby server next is if the next the pgsql uh, checkup i am doing once uh, this is false this condition is failing then it will go into the by default it try to go the read and rec, uh, write mode so here uh, the always the write will happen so here what we are doing is generally we are splitting uh, one is write let it go to the master and uh, read uh, how many we can configure multiple uh, standby node also here so using the different uh, ip address you can configure like this so in this case uh, the load the read load will be uh, shared by two two nodes so this is the way we ne you need to configure once this particular configuration is done uh, let's start restart the hf proxy once re uh, restart is successful you can check the status whether it's running or not how to test now now the configuration is completed uh, successfully now we need to test whether we are doing correct or not so here uh, go to db server uh, I already explained you two server I used one is master one is slave node so two uh, terminal you open simultaneously uh, so because uh, we need to run two command at a time so that is the reason I am uh, I am suggesting you to open two terminals uh, so in this terminal you have to give uh, PostgreSQL how you used to connect uh, generally you people know how to connect the PostgreSQL uh, uh, by using the port number host and this same thing you need to do instead of giving the see uh, in our case master ip address is this but i am giving 10.20.70.0 this ip address is ha proxy ip address because now uh, our request is going to ha proxy ha proxy will call the actual uh, uh, operation it will try to do so now i am running this particular command so it will try to give the ip address is this and similarly uh, you know at the same time i am running and the terminal 2 also using the same command it is also giving the same ip address because so there is no load so by default it will try to give the uh, you know uh, load is uh, is having the same so by default it may uh, give one and here also will give one because uh, two only will give because our uh, uh, database is read only mode is two only so i mean the standby server so this is the way you need to test uh, otherwise uh, you can write the insert command and then one place you do the insert one place you do the select query so this is the way we can test it uh, uh, thanks for watching my channel uh, we will meet uh, next session with uh, some other different topics and how to do in the other different uh, uh, database uh, replication and in the real time configuration those all other things we will see in the uh, next upcoming videos